Tesla just pulled off what the entire auto industry called impossible. The Model 2 is here, $15,999, 310 mile range, 0 to 60 in 6 seconds. That's cheaper than most gas cars, but faster than half of them. While BYD and legacy automakers scramble to explain how they missed this, one question burns hotter than their engines. Did Tesla just sacrifice everything to hit that price? Or did they actually engineer a miracle? Because if this is real, the game just changed forever. Let's dive right in. The $15,999 price tag sounds like a marketing stunt until you dig into what Tesla actually did. This isn't about making a cheaper car. It's about completely rethinking what a car needs to be. While Ford bleeds $36,000 on every EV they sell and GM's Ultium platform burns through investor cash, Tesla asked the one question legacy automakers were too afraid to ask. What if we only kept what actually works? The answer reveals something profound about modern automotive engineering. Gas prices are hovering around $4.50 per gallon in major markets. Insurance premiums jumped 26% since 2023. And the average American is trapped in a $48,000 car loan. The market doesn't want another luxury vehicle loaded with features they'll use twice a year. They want escape velocity from crushing transportation costs. That $15,999 isn't just a price point. It's a fundamental reset of what affordable transportation means in 2026. But there's tension building beneath this promise. Leaked internal discussions suggest potential price increases to $30,000 or even $40,000 at launch, and online communities are already fracturing between believers and skeptics. Tesla's response has been calculated silence, letting anticipation build while keeping their cards close. This strategy could either cement their dominance or trigger a backlash that undermines years of brand trust. What makes this fascinating is how Tesla approached the cost-cutting challenge. The first images reveal a design philosophy that's almost surgical in its precision. Those simplified single-unit headlights represent a 60% reduction in manufacturing and replacement costs. The 18-inch wheels with aerodynamic covers eliminate expensive multi-piece alloy rims that cost $800 to replace. Every visible design choice carries invisible financial logic. Step inside, and the strategy becomes even clearer. Fabric seats replace vegan leather. Steering adjustments are manual. There's no sunroof, no rear seat entertainment screens, no premium audio system. Just one 15.4-inch central display controlling everything. Critics immediately labeled it Spartan missing the fundamental shift happening here. This isn't compromise. It's a complete reimagining of value based on smartphone economics. Consider how the tech industry evolved. Your phone doesn't need triple cameras to take professional photos. You don't need one terabyte of storage when cloud services exist. The features you actually use daily, the processor, the screen, the software, those remain premium. Everything else is negotiable. Tesla's applying this exact logic to cars, and it terrifies legacy automakers because their entire profit structure depends on upselling features customers use three times in five years. Take the manual mirror adjustment everyone's mocking. When did you last adjust your side mirrors more than once annually? That eliminated motor saves $120 per vehicle and removes two potential failure points. The missing panoramic sunroof reduces weight by 45 pounds and improves structural rigidity by 8%. The simplified rear ventilation cuts electronic components that typically fail after 80,000 miles, reducing long-term ownership costs by an estimated 40%. 
What's remarkable is how much Tesla preserved despite these cuts. The interior volume nearly matches the Model Y despite the smaller footprint. And that single central screen? It's running the identical software stack as the $100,000 Model S Plaid. Same neural network, same AI features, same over-the-air updates. You're not buying a cheap car with a cheap brain, you're buying a premium computing platform in an economically optimized shell. This reveals Tesla's true advantage. While traditional automakers view cars as mechanical products with some software, Tesla builds software platforms that happen to have wheels. The cost of replicating their software stack would exceed the entire profit margin on most economy cars. Legacy manufacturers can copy the fabric seats, but they can't replicate 10 years of machine learning data and vertical integration. Then we get to the specification that breaks conventional wisdom. Zero to 60 miles per hour in six seconds. A $15,999 vehicle accelerating faster than a $35,000 Honda Accord Sport, quicker than a $42,000 Mazda CX-90, outpacing most combustion sedans, costing twice as much. This number should be impossible at this price point. The explanation lies in vertical integration. Traditional manufacturers buy motors from suppliers and lose 30% in margins. Tesla designs everything in-house. The Model 2's motor costs less than the Model Y's, but delivers comparable performance because software compensates for hardware limitations. It's the same philosophy SpaceX uses. Build good enough hardware, then let sophisticated software make it great. Electric motors are fundamentally simpler than combustion engines. A single-speed transmission versus a complex 10-speed automatic. No timing chains, no catalytic converters, no turbochargers to fail. Tesla's powertrain has 17 moving parts. A Toyota Corolla has over 200. Less complexity reduces cost and eliminates performance compromises. The weight story matters, too. At approximately 3,300 pounds, the Model 2 weighs nearly 500 pounds less than a Model 3. Lower mass means less power needed for the same acceleration. With the battery pack mounted low, the center of gravity sits below the axle's center line. This thing should handle like a go-kart, not an economy hatchback. Giving it driving character combustion cars in this price range cannot match. The battery strategy represents Tesla's most calculated risk. While competitors chase maximum energy density with nickel-cobalt chemistries, Tesla chose lithium-iron phosphate, offering 15% less energy density but costing 40% less per kilowatt-hour and lasting twice as long. With a 53-kilowatt-hour pack, they're promising 310 miles of EPA range. That compact body cuts through air with a drag coefficient around 0.23. The low-resistance tires reduce rolling friction by 8%. The regenerative braking recovers energy traditional brakes waste. And the software manages every watt like a SpaceX flight computer manages propellant. Same engineering team, same optimization philosophy, different application. But here's the honest reality. That 310-mile EPA rating represents ideal conditions. In real-world driving, cold weather, highway speeds, climate control running, expect 260 to 280 miles. Tesla knows this. Betting their supercharger network makes it irrelevant. Stop for 15 minutes, gain 180 miles, keep moving. It's a fundamentally different paradigm. The LFP chemistry reveals deeper strategic thinking. This battery uses iron and phosphate, abundant, geopolitically stable materials. No cobalt supply chain drama, no nickel price volatility, no dependency on unstable regions. Tesla can scale to millions of units without material constraints. 
This isn't just engineering. It's geopolitical risk management disguised as a battery decision. Now we need to address aluminum ion batteries. Social media claims the Model 2 will launch with this revolutionary chemistry that charges in 10 minutes. Here's what engineering tells us. It's not happening in 2026, probably not in 2028. Aluminum ion promises incredible charging speeds, but there's a crushing trade-off. Current energy density is 30 to 40% lower than even LFP. To match that 310-mile range, you'd need a battery weighing over 800 pounds instead of 550. The car gets heavier, handling deteriorates, efficiency drops, and you need a bigger battery to compensate for the bigger battery's weight. It's an engineering death spiral. Tesla could engineer around limitations with exotic materials and improved aerodynamics. But at $15,999, there's no margin for expensive solutions. The aluminum ion dream collides with harsh budget reality. The infrastructure challenge is even bigger. Charging in 10 minutes requires 500 plus kilowatt chargers, liquid cooled cables, upgraded grid connections everywhere. That's billions in infrastructure investment. Tesla's smart enough not to launch bleeding-edge battery tech without the ecosystem to support it. This brings us to production scale. Tesla isn't targeting modest volumes. Reports suggest 4 million Model 2 units annually by 2028. That's not a goal. It's a declaration of war on every automaker struggling to build 100,000 EVs profitably. So here's the answer to that burning question from the start. Tesla didn't sacrifice everything to hit $15,999. They eliminated everything that doesn't matter, while legacy automakers spent decades convincing you that massage seats define value. Tesla redefined the entire equation. Premium software in an optimized shell. That's how you deliver 310 miles, 6-second acceleration, and a price tag that breaks every rule in automotive economics. This isn't just about one affordable EV. If Tesla hits production targets, every manufacturer faces an existential choice, adapt or disappear. The Model 2 could trigger the same industry transformation the Model T did in 1908, making what was once luxury accessible to millions. And when aluminum ion infrastructure matures and production costs drop further, this is just the opening move. The real question now, can legacy automakers respond before it's too late? Drop your prediction in the comments. I read every single one. If this breakdown gave you clarity on what Tesla's actually doing, hit that like button. For more deep dives into the engineering and strategy behind EV and space technology, subscribe to Tech Revolution and smash that notification bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Because the revolution in transportation just got real, and it costs less than a used Camry.